So I just wanted to show you this lovely delivery I had today. Um, always happy to get delivery of wool. I tried to go for some pastel um, colours today. Just because I don't have a lot of pastel colours. I'll have a lot of brights, not a lot of pastel colours. So it's just a little selection there. And whilst I was on the site ordering the wool, I saw this lovely book. Now, I've been thinking about doing uh, 3D letters and numbers for toppers for quite some time. So um, I saw this book and it was only £5 something. And it's really good. It's a really good detailed description on how to do each of the letters. I think some of them involve using cardboard and possibly like weighted beans or something. So you can stand them up. But obviously, if I'm putting them on a topper, I'll be sewing them on anyway. So... Um, yeah, I look forward to starting some of them when I eventually get some time. But I also ordered from the same delivery this little kit here. So it's it was a complete set. So you get the pattern for this blanket, which I'm sure it said beginner when I was looking at it online. However, it says intermediate. But, you know, hopefully I'll um, be able to manage that. It looks quite a good, good instructions. Um, and it comes with all the wool that you need to make the the actual blanket so I'll be looking forward to doing that um, so this wool has come from uh, the knitting network I used to order my wool from well I used to buy my wool from Shaw's which is a shop in was a shop in Torquay but um, I think the whole company seems to have gone into liquidation or whatever happens to these shops because the shop shut down you can no longer order online and I think it I want to say it was it was either Mariners or the wool warehouse that you could order from that was linked to Shores. Um, and you could also no longer order from that at this moment in time. So I found the Knitting Network and they have this Emu wool, just a brand name for it, I guess. Um, some of them are on at 135 for 100 grams and some are £1.79, I think. So it's quite a good price. Obviously, this was a kit, so this was a, a separate price um, for the kit and the pattern. Um but yeah, it's definitely worth having a look at that if, you, if you're looking for wool online. Um, but there's quite a few different ones keep popping up. I notice on the crochet pages I'm on, different different places that are recommended. One of them is called, I want to say, the Magic Loop. Uh, and that seems to have quite good prices as well. But I've only tried this one so far since uh, Shaw's closed down. But it was really good. This book was only £5 something. And, it, and it's obviously literally got every letter of the, um, every letter of the alphabet. And numbers 1 to 10. So um, I look forward to trying some of those. I thought they were going to be massive. And I was thinking, oh no, they're going to be too big for what I want. But it, reading it, it says that most of them, I think, are about 15 about fifteen centimetres high. Which is perfect. And um, Just have to wait and see how tricky they are to do. I have been um, given an order, actually, for to make two blankets for twins. Um, a boy and a girl. So I've been looking for a pattern to do for them. So I've found one. Um, I don't know if I can actually show it on here. Let me have a look. It's one I've made quite a few times for babies, actually. It's a good pattern because it's the, the crochet is quite tight together. So for, for um, see if I can find it in here. This is my boho crochet book. I've got this whole book and I've actually only, I think, ever made one blanket from here, which is the same one, this one. Annie Blanket, it's called. So that's how it comes out. So I'm going to make one with white as the main colour, with different pinks going through it, and one with white as the main colour, with different blues, because it's boy-girl twins. Um, so I've got those two to do before I can do anything else now. But yeah, this is a lovely book, but I, I literally, I think, I've only ever made... Um, yeah, I have literally only ever made the, the Annie blanket from it. But it has got some nice things in. Oh, I have used some of these flowers and hearts before when I've done toppers and things. Um, but yeah, that's that's um, that's going to be my next job. So I shall show you some of that when um, when I'm making that. It's actually really easy to make. I don't know if it's got a skill level. Oh, there we are. Look, one flower skill level, which must mean it's really easy. Um, so anybody could give it a go. But I'll show you that when I get started on it. <laughs> 